इफ यू आर समन इज परस्यूंग एम बी ए और कोई टू परस्यू एम बी एन फ्यूचर बट आप श्योर नहीं हो कि एम बी ए के बाद क्या करना है किस टाइप के प्रोफाइल एंड रोल्स ऑफर होते हैं आफ्टर एम बी ए वट आर द सैलरीज एंड द ग्रोथ ऑप्शन इन ईच ऑफ दीज रोल्स दिन दिस वीडियो इज डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू हेल्प यू बिकॉज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर फोर मेजर रोल्स आफ्टर एम बी ए दैट इज कंसल्टिंग जनरल मैनेजमेंट मार्केटिंग एंड फाइनेंस and for each of these roles i will cover a short description and the pros and cons of each of these roles so that you can make a good decision for yourself and for rest of the roles i will cover it in part 2 of this video so let's start with consulting in consulting you will be given any kind of a business problem by the client the problem can be say launching a new product or implementing a new technology for the client or maybe increasing the operational efficiency of the client's plant it can literally be anything and you'll be expected to solve it now how do you solve that problem so there will be a number of experts in your team already who have solved that kind of a problem your firm itself would have solved that kind of a problem for many different clients so you will be drawing insights from there as well and also you will be conducting your own research to draw the best global benchmarks to solve that particular problem now the pros of consulting so consulting because you are switching across projects you are learning a lot on each of these projects the average tenure is say 4 or 5 months so you are learning a lot so your learning curve is really really steep in consulting and it is one of the most high paying jobs probably after investment banking and private equity roles in finance consulting is the most high paying job after mba and your growth is really really high in consulting both in terms of your salary it's uh, the growth is really good and also if you are talking in terms of exit options so consulting is really good in those terms as well and if i have to talk about some of the cons of consulting it's a very very demanding job you can expect it it differs across projects and across firms however you can expect that it will be very demanding and it will be very long hours for you as well as the second con that i think that consulting has is you are involved more on the strategy side of things and because of that you and you are not accountable for the execution of projects and for this you somehow i believe you lack that execution skill of doing business on the ground so next is general management so these kind of general management roles are usually offered by group companies for example the likes of tatas uh, aditya birla group reliance and the mahindra group and in this kind of a role in the first year you are expected to rotate across different group companies to have a holistic view of the entire business of the group for example say you are in tata in the first four months you might be in tata motors the next four months you will be in tata steel and the next four months say you can be in tata digital so you are rotated across different group companies so that you know about the culture about the different businesses of the group and that after the first year you will be fixed on one of these particular businesses and the, if i have to talk about the pros of general management it's a highly reputed job and it's a leadership track role so after a few years you will be expected to become the ceo of one of the group companies and the work life as well is really really good in general management roles and probably the best in industry after mba and if i have to talk about some of the cons your salary might not be as high as that of someone say in consulting or finance and your growth rate as well uh, will be a little bit limited compared to someone in again finance or uh, consulting and however there is a trade off there is a clear trade off in your salary as well as the number of hours that you would be putting in that is your work life so next is marketing and you all have an idea about this role and there are various profiles within this role it can be a uh, digital marketing it can be about e-commerce management brand management but the most sought after job in marketing is that with an fmcg company where initially for the first one or two years you are offered a sales stint after which you are shifted to marketing for say something like a brand management and if i have to talk about some of the pros in marketing the first pro is your execution skills are valued a lot in the industry so if you are in a sales stint you will be managing a sales force team so you that a kind of an experience is valued a lot and second is it's an evergreen job because every company needs help in marketing so definitely your skills will never become irrelevant and some of the cons include if you're not comfortable with traveling then you probably have to travel a lot during your sales stint and that might become hectic for you and your growth in terms of salary might not be as high as that of someone in consulting or finance it might be slightly more than general management but still certainly less than consulting or finance however you can make up for this by switching across different companies because there are a lot of options available in marketing 
and another con is that you need to upskill yourself from time to time because there are always new things coming up there's digital marketing then there is performance marketing and influencer marketing and new things coming up every now and then so you need to keep upskilling yourself to stay relevant in this job and last is finance i will have to make a separate video to cover each of the roles within finance because there are quite a few roles here there's investment banking private equity venture capital banking corporate finance markets and trading and a lot of them so probably i have to make a separate video for each of the roles however one thing that i can say here is you do not necessarily need a ca or a cfa degree to get into these finance roles a lot of engineers also make it here and if i were to talk about some of the pros of finance as you all know it's the most high paying job it offers the most high paying job across all profiles in mba and there are certain cons obviously associated with it worst thing is there is your work life balance it's it's very long hours and so your work life will definitely take a hit and second is you in finance roles you usually become an expert in a field and because of this switching across different roles becomes a problem in your long term career so probably the role that you have started with you will be ending your career in that particular role only